Can you find the area of this blue shaded region? We are given two circles touching internally like this, and this vertical distance from the top of the smaller circle to the top of the larger circle as 12 units, and the horizontal distance from the edge of the smaller circle to the edge of the larger one as 8 units, and our goal is to find the area of this blue shaded region. You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it, and when you're ready, you can always come back to verify your answer. Alright, let's solve it together. But before we begin, first, let's mark the centers of both circles and define the radius of the smaller circle as r units. Now if the radius of the smaller circle is r units, then its diameter is simply 2 times r. And if the diameter of the smaller circle is 2 times r, then the diameter of the larger circle will be 2r plus 12, as this outer circle extends 12 units further from the inner one. That means the radius of the large circle will be 2r plus 12, all divided by 2, which simplifies to r r plus 6. So this length here is r plus 6 units, and this is also r plus 6 units, right? Now look carefully. If this full length is r plus 6 units, and this segment is r units, then this small part here must be 6 units. Similarly, if this full length is r plus 6, and this other segment is 8 units, then this remaining part will be r minus 2 units, and by symmetry, this other side is also r minus 2 units, correct? Now let's draw a radius from the center of the smaller circle, forming a right-angled triangle like this. One leg of this right triangle is 6 units, the other leg is r minus 2 units, and and the hypotenuse is the radius of the smaller circle, which is r units. So using everyone favorites the Pythagorean theorem, we get 6 squared plus the quantity r minus 2 squared is equal to r squared. Now let's simplify this step by step. 6 squared is 36, and the square of r minus 2 is r squared minus 4, r plus 4. So our expression becomes 36 plus r squared minus 4r plus 4 is equal to r squared. Now canceling r squared from both sides, we get 40 minus 4r equals equals 0. Again, subtracting 40 from both sides, we get negative 4r equals negative 40. And dividing both sides by negative 4, we get r is equal to negative 40, divide by negative 4, which is equal to 10 units. That means the radius of this smaller circle is 10 units, and the radius of this larger circle is 10 plus 6, which is 16 units. Now we have everything to calculate the area of this blue shaded region. From the diagram, we can see that area of this blue shaded region is simply the area of this larger circle minus the area of this smaller circle. And we know that the area of a circle is given by the formula pi times the radius squared. So substituting the values, we get area of blue shaded region is equal to pi times 16 squared minus pi times 10 squared. Taking pi common from both sides, we get pi times the quantity 16 squared minus 10 squared. 16 squared is 256. And and 10 squared is 100. So the area of this blue shaded region is pi times the quantity 256 minus 100, which is pi times 156 square units. And that's our final answer. Pretty amazing, right? Few construction and a bit of clever geometry gave us the exact answer. But wait, before you go, Here's a quick bonus challenge for you. Can you find the area of this same blue shaded region in terms of a variable x instead of 12 and a variable y instead of 8 units? Think it through and drop your answer in the comments below. Let's see who can figure it out. If you found this explanation helpful and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more mind-bending math puzzles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.